Luckily, they left her a message saying that she is a match. Okay, hey guys, happy Friday. It's some, it's time for some sherbet. Guys, just preparing Jackson's dinner. I just prepared ours to pop in the oven in a bit. And he's all ready for his chicken and smoked bacon. Mmm, sounds good, right, Dinner, Jack? baby? Yeah, get it all cut up. And now we're gonna put some dry food and you're gonna have your din din. You're a good boy. Okay. Ready for your dinner? All right, here we go. Yeah, guys, so usually his bowls are over there, <clears throat> but he doesn't like them against the vacuum. He's petrified, so now they're against the cabinets. Is that good, little man? Enjoy your dinner. Hi, guys. Good evening or good night, whatever you want to say. It is snack time. I'm having some delicious hot scrambled eggs with Ario. It just made me. And I just said hot. I would hope they were hot, but... <laughs> um, so this is perfect because it gives me 10 grams of fat for trichafta, so that's really good. And um, yeah, we have a little bit of news to share with you guys, which we'll probably do in a bit. Guys, we're in bed um, and we're just going to read the Bible a little bit it is. and then um, we'll just relax, watch some TV and fall asleep. But I told you guys we had some good news, uh, so before... We were actually in the middle of like doing a FaceTime with our cousin and our aunt and waiting for our grandmother to join us and stuff. And my nurse called me. You guys know her if you've been watching for some time now, Lindsay. Um, and I think I told you guys she was getting tested to see if she's a donor. And um, luckily they left her a message saying that she is a match. So that is pretty amazing. And uh, we extremely thankful um, to have her in our lives as my nurse, of course, but also as a friend. We've became friends, I would say, pretty much instantly um, from seeing her all the time. And, you know, you get to know each other and you become friendly. So it's amazing that she's a match. Um, obviously, she's an RN, so there's a lot to figure out if she does wind up being the uh, donor. We're still not sure what our nephew will wait me here. Um, his results to see uh, with the cross match if he's a potential match so that's what's going on um, it sort of hit me today like it feels so real it's starting to feel real um, I think I share with you guys that my sugars are way better than they've ever been before my a1c which is an average of three months of your sugars and it's a 5.5 which if I didn't have diabetes, it would be considered borderline diabetic. But obviously, if I don't take insulin, I am, um, you know, high, extremely high in my sugars. So, um, yeah, I'm still a diabetic, of course, but I'm in more normal range than ever in my entire life. And as you guys know, I need a kidney transplant because of the diabetes. So that just... Uh, it's great that my numbers are better, but I wish this could have happened sooner. And the other reason why they are a little bit better too is obviously I'm doing a better job with insulin and um, staying on top of things. But it's also because my kidneys are failing and the insulin lasts longer in my body and in my bloodstream because I can't flush it out. So the insulin I do take is working way better than it has you know, in the past, which is amazing 
but I know if I do get a kidney transplant afterwards, there's going to be some more work to do on the diabetes end of things. And it's not going to be easy. It's going to be tough. Get down, Jackson. Jackson's going to get yelled at because his feet are wet. Get down. Oh, we didn't get yelled at. He just picked them up. But anyway, so that's where we're at. Usually that doesn't work. Um, we'll probably try again. <laughs> usually he comes back up after he's asked to get off. But that's where we're at, and as far as pancreas goes, I can't get listed. Well, I'm listed, but not active on the list. I have to gain some time, um, which could be about a year or a little bit over that to possibly even get one. So in terms that, there's a good shot that with a pancreas, you can cure diabetes in the person, usually type 1, which I have cystic fibrosis-related diabetes, but I function as a type 1 diabetic. So that's where we're at. Um, and obviously, if you get a new kidney and it's um, working properly, no rejection, and then you can get your sugars under control, um, yeah, there's a good shot. It can last pretty long. So that's where we're at. We're going to say goodnight. Thank you guys for watching mm -hmm. and joining us. And we'll keep you guys posted. Hopefully, we'll have our nephew's results next week. Yeah. Have a great weekend. Hi guys. Uh, maybe. Trying to figure out where to park. We're in the um, parking lot of Home Depot and it's a curbside pickup. So we're going to park somewhere else. But anyway, we're uh, just going to get a few things that we need. And uh, that's really it. It's our big outing at Home Depot. It's, it's a beautiful day out. Yeah. yeah, it's 84 right now. Really nice. The sun is shining. I got a tank top on, which tells you a lot. Um, so, yeah, we're going to enjoy the weather. Hi, guys. It's dinner time. We're having some pasta with putanesca sauce. Yum. Rosario cooked it. Yum, yum. Delicious. Looks really good. So, this is like our second time making it, I think. And, uh, yeah, we're going to enjoy it. This time, we just made it a little bit less spicy. Mm -hmm. A little yeah. less pepper. Red crushed peppers, so huh? It should be a little more tolerable, mm -hmm. even though the flavor is always delicious. Is it good? Good. Hey guys, that, was, that good. was delicious. We're on our second bowl each. Yum. Hi, guys. Happy Sunday. It is so beautiful out. Jackson has his head out the car window. We're going to head to the park and um, just get some air and let Jackson get some exercise. Uh, he loves going to the park, so... I think he's really gonna enjoy today. It's so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know where I'm going. Hey, Jack, look at the road, Jack. Jackson, look at the road. There you go. <laughs> wow, guys, it's really beautiful out here. My hair's blowing in the wind. I need a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> so is Jackson's. Um, Me and him both need haircuts. Yeah, I'm not just due just yet for one. So. Maybe I'll just ask the. Uh, the groomer, she could do you. <laughs> <laughs> Never know. You promise you'll be what? I promise I'll be a good dog. Uh, Jackson, you're gonna have to share your grooming time with daddy. Can you imagine? I swear, if he poops again, I don't know what to say. He pooped three times. Like, I guess his stomach's bothering him today. Yeah. And we ran out of bags, so I had to get some. That's probably what we did in the house that day. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Something bothered him. When he pooped on my Ugg shoes. Yeah, that was good. But we went to the car to get some uh, paper towels and bags and stuff, so we're prepared. Good boy.
chef over here, the barbecue guy, He's melting some butter in the pan first and then we're gonna put the filet mignons on there. That looks good. My mother's got her plants going over here. Um, basil, 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 and I don't know what that is. Parsley, I think. Oh, and these are the tomato plants. Wow, they've grown already. Crazy, they were so tiny the other day. Hi guys, happy Monday. I just finished my appointment with my uh, kidney specialist. So yeah, everything pretty much went okay. Um, as far as my kidneys go, I'm stable as of now. But as I like to say, I'm one sneeze away from needing dialysis. Um, so that's a little bit of some mixed feelings um, as we still wait for the results from the cross match testing um <clears throat> we're hopeful that something works out and there's also the other aspect of with everything with COVID going on there's still not or rooms available um they're only giving one room which if you have a living donor you need two rooms so that's the other thing and with all this protesting going on i'm sure <clears throat> the virus is gonna spread unfortunately People are protesting without wearing masks and they're very close together for many hours. So I'm sure you're going to see the uh, <clears throat> spike in COVID go up in patients. I hope not, but <clears throat> it's just, uh, it would just make sense that that's something that may happen. Um, and what's frustrating for us mostly is that if COVID continues to increase and more patients need hospitalization, that means the transplant gets postponed and there's a really high chance that I'm going to need dialysis, which I'm not looking forward to because then that also has to uh, be done in the hospital to initially get it started. So I would have to go into the hospital to get the um, catheter or tubing, whatever you want to say, put into my abdomen. So then also I'm going to be sort of exposed possibly to covid patients I would imagine just by passing through the hospital and whatnot so it's just really frustrating I don't disagree with them protesting over what happened it was completely wrong it should have never happened but what they don't realize is by them all getting together they're putting other people's lives at risk and therefore in total they're not helping the population they're making things worse so I'm sure there's probably many that don't see it like that or many that don't care but um for somebody like me that needs a life-saving transplant to live, it's just a little bit frustrating that um, no matter how hard we try, we may still be out of options. So that's what's going through my mind after having my appointment with my kidney specialist. And so we're just gonna do our best and pray. I mean, I do, I thank God for keeping me stable this long. I didn't think I would make it this stable since finding out in January I was in kidney failure and we're in June, so. We're just going to do our best and pray and continue to hopefully go in the right direction. Um, I will be more than thankful if I could just stay stable. Um, there were some numbers that need some help, like my hemoglobin. So um, that has nothing to do with my iron because my iron levels are good, but my hemoglobin isn't due to the kidney failure. So therefore, I will be needing like injections every two to four weeks depending to try and help with that <clears throat> so in turn a kidney transplant would be the best thing for me right now but we'll see and uh keep you guys posted but look at that sunset i don't even know if the camera can do it justice but it's gorgeous so guys what we're about to show you was not planned Jill was making a salad, cutting up all the ingredients. She was, she was just about to cut the cucumber and the tomatoes and look how they landed mm-hmm that's it was exactly an accident. How it I dropped them out of the towel after washing them. 
I mean, I don't think I have to explain anything, but there it is.